Hello friends, and today I wanted to make a quick video showing how you'd edit a tweened animation once you'd completed it. And the reason I wanted to show this was because last week I showed you how to create a tweened animation, animating this snowdrift building up. And if you missed that, you can see a link to it in the card above and the description below. And I've made a couple of videos showing how to create a tween for the first time, but you'll find yourself editing a tween more often than creating one. So I wanted to briefly show you a couple of things so that you're not scared to edit a tween and so you don't think that you have to delete it and start again if it's not quite right. So today I want to show you three options. First, how you can edit the images in the level, keeping the level the same size. Then, how you can shrink the tween to have fewer drawings so the changes will show quicker. And finally, how you can extend it with more drawings to show the changes slower. And I'll add a link to these three options in the description so you can jump straight to them. And if you're new to the channel, welcome! On this channel I make weekly tutorials for OpenTunes and Tahoma, and I also host a weekly live stream where I'll work on animations and show tips and tricks for how to use the software. So do subscribe and hit that bell to not miss the next one. So first we'll look at editing the images in the level but keeping it the same size. And as you can see here, there's 60 drawings in this level and they're all exposed on the timeline, so there's no need to change the drawings on the timeline. And firstly, if you wanted to change the interpolation type, you can just click anywhere in the level strip, press Ctrl A to select all the drawings, click the in-between button and choose a new interpolation type. So if I choose linear and hit in between, it'll reinterpolate in a linear fashion. And if you want to change the drawings, either go to the first drawing in the level or the last one, and you can edit it here on the viewer. But usually you want to edit your drawing in relation to everything else in your scene. So the best thing to do is to find the drawing in the timeline. So here's the last drawing, drawing 60. And then using the control point editor, you can simply click on the drawing and edit the points. So for instance, you might want the snow drift to go taller on the side of the screen, but lower on the bottom of the screen. So now we've changed the last drawing, we can simply click in the level strip somewhere, press Ctrl A and hit in between, choose the interpolation type and then the in between button. And that's it. With all 60 drawings already exposed on the timeline, there's nothing else to do. So feel free to finesse your drawings and the interpolation type until you get exactly the movement that you want. Next we'll look at how you can shrink the tween. So if you've got too many drawings and you want the tween movement to go quicker, you've got a few different options. Firstly, you can just delete some of the drawings that are exposed. So here I can delete drawing number two and drawing number four, and then shuffle the other drawings up together. So now the first few drawings will move quicker. So even though you've got those extra in-between drawings in your level, as you can see in the level strip, you're exposing fewer of them on the timeline, so they'll play quicker. So if I just undo that. But if you definitely don't need the drawings and you want fewer drawings in your level, you can just delete some of the drawings in the level strip. So as we look here, there are 60 drawings to this tween. And if we want to delete some of them, I can click on drawing 59, move up to drawing 39, Holding shift and then click in 39, select all of those drawings. I can then either right click and choose delete from the options or press the delete key. And now there's fewer drawings. And even though the last drawing says drawing number 60, you can still renumber the drawings. So if you click any drawing in the level strip, press Ctrl A to select them all, right click, you can then just hit renumber and you can choose the start number and the step for each drawing and then hit the renumber button. And now the drawings are numbered from 1 to 39. 
So then to in-between them again, you simply press Ctrl A to select all the drawings, hit the in-between button, choose the interpolation type and hit in-between. So now we'll have a nice movement in those drawings. Then on the timeline, simply delete the drawings that are no longer in the level. And these are shown in red. So you can click the first drawing, move to the last drawing that's missing, hold shift and click in that frame and then you can press the delete key. And again, you can just move the rest of the drawings to wherever you need them. Next, how can you extend the tween? Well, for this level in the timeline, you can see we've got 39 drawings. And if that tween plays too fast and you want to insert more drawings, simply select any drawing then tap the insert key for the number of drawings you want to insert. So here I'll insert 11 drawings to bring the number of drawings up to 50. Then hit Ctrl A to select all of the drawings in the level strip. Hit in between, choose the interpolation type and then press in between. And that'll reinterpolate from the first drawing in the level to the last. Overwriting all of the drawings from one to 49 and adding new tweens where necessary. So how do we add these to the timeline? Well, if we take a look down on the timeline, the drawings go up to drawing 37, and then the final two are inserted there. So we need drawings from 38 to 48. So simply go to the level strip, click on drawing 38, scroll down to where 48 is, hold shift, select drawing 48, and then if you hold shift as you drag those drawings to the timeline and place them where drawing 49 is, it'll insert them before that drawing 49 and shuffle the rest of the drawings to the right. And then you can now retime them as necessary. So that's it. That's how you can edit your already created tweened animation. So if you've got a tween, don't be afraid to go back and edit it and make the animation you want to make. Editing tweens, a simple way to improve your animations. And that's a guarantee.